So the Internet of Things is very useful because it allows us to publish sensor values to the cloud. Unfortunately, all Internet of Things devices are not secure. Particularly, they may not be using secure means of communication to communicate the values to the cloud. Choosing the cloud provider is also important because they may not be securing your data on their servers correctly. In this demonstration today, we are going to show you a scenario where we are going to model the HVAC temperature and humidity values in a data center or, or, a, or a large facility and we are publishing those values for the network operator to be able to see and be able to monitor and keep the temperature values cool in the building. We will be using uh, typical Internet of Things devices. Uh, we can talk about what these are. And we will have humidity and temperature sensor which is DHT11 and we have node MCU. DHT11 sensor senses the values and sends it to Arduino or ESP8266. On this node MCU we have ESP8266 which is a Wi-Fi chip with full stack TCP IP protocol. And over here we are going to use a special kind of router known as a Wi-Fi pineapple. This is a rogue access point so to speak and it can be programmed to intercept traffic and even be able to modify traffic on the fly. We have our uh, node MCU connected to our humidity sensor and it is powered on by 5 volt power supply uh, and it's run acting as a web server right now. So now we are going to show you the software side of things and this is our Arduino code. It's uh, written in C++. This is programmed as a web server. The web server code runs on the node MCU. Whoever connects to the web server is going to be served the temperature and humidity values. The MacBook is going to be the user. And this laptop over here is going to be our attacker machine. The attacker machine has the Wi-Fi pineapple uh, connected to it and the user is going to connect to the Wi-Fi thinking that it's a legitimate network. In order to log into the management console, first we connect to the Wi-Fi manage management ID. We want to log in with root password. Once we log in, we can see a management console. It has all the options on the left side and it says how long the Wi-Fi is on and how many clients has been connected and if I click this we can see ESP and MacBook Air is connected to this so now we can do something with these two clients uh, in order to do attacks we have all the modules here there are different types of at uh, modules to do different attacks for now we are using HTTP proxy in order to change the temperature and humidity values and for this I have written the code which has HTML and JavaScript. Let's show you before the attack actually starts what are the readings that we see here. So I'm going to navigate to our web server here and that's the web server running. It's showing you certain temperature and humidity values in our data center. Now. Uh, once we start the attack on the pineapple, then you will see that these values will change. Now, I will start the HTTP proxy handler. Okay. Now we can see the values has are, been changed. Uh, like they are much larger than what they should have been. It says temperature as 89 degree and that is a wrong value which has been coded with this HTTP proxy.